On the morning of June 14, 1968, a group of hippies fled into the mountains of Colorado to wait for doomsday. <laughs> Y'all aren't even gonna believe the shit we just went through. Oh my god, the concert's in like 30 minutes. Stop. Spicy sauce in it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I was like, do I keep going? <laughs> oh my fucking god. day we had yesterday what stop is there a bug on me okay anyway so yesterday was a fucking mess the biggest mess in the world it started off fine i guess um we drove here it was a long drive for me i said slept like the whole way and we had ihop i got sick yeah I, i'm getting it <laughs> like everything was fine but then sid started feeling really fucking sick so that kind of put a damper on our moods <laughs> it did it did she didn't want to do anything and i wanted to do everything so it was like a clash and to be fair we couldn't do nothing we couldn't do nothing because we didn't have our hotel until three o'clock yeah, we literally had no choice because we got here at like 10 30 or 11. yeah we couldn't be here until three o'clock i wanted to go to this park but sydney didn't so sydney stayed in the car for two hours and i walked to a park and it was really pretty. I had a fun time, but I'm sure Sydney didn't. And then I had the best falafel sandwich I've ever had in my life. Holy fuck. Oh, I forgot about that. 
I went to it again. It was so good. Once we got back to the car from getting a falafel sandwich, um, it was three o'clock. So we we're like, okay, let's go check in at our hotel that we have a reservation at, at three o'clock. And now it's four. Yeah. So, well, it was like a 20 minute drive and um, we got there and the person at the front desk was like, we don't have your name down. Oh, I feel. I'm like getting angry. I feel the pain again. That was fucking annoying. I wasn't, I wasn't annoyed as much as I was like, oh my God, what are we going to do now? Or they canceled the um, reservation. Yeah, because the card didn't go through and there's no rooms available. And that was the cheapest place we found. Yeah, so we, we were under the impression that like everything was fine. Everything was going to work out. It was four o'clock at that point. We had to be at the concert at like six and both of us were disgusting. Not in a bad way. We just yeah, had we a like shower. and gross. <laughs> We couldn't find a fucking place to stay. For we like called. An hour. Yes, for an hour we were calling places, and everyone was like, "Sorry, none available tonight." Then we went to this one Motel Six. We called. They had a room available. We went in. You have to be twenty-one. <laughs> you would rather an eighteen and nineteen-year-old be like alone in Austin streets than a fucking twenty-one-year-old. <gasps> We were like, we had the money out. We were about to pay. And then they're like, uh, you're not 21. It wasn't a Motel 6. It was Austin's best hotel. That's whenever I lost my mind. I was like crying. I had a little bit of a breakdown. Yeah, I was crying for probably 30 minutes. I was crying, the all, the, I was crying <laughs> all the way to this hotel. <laughs> I just <laughs> imagine like people next to me. It was so funny. I was like kind of holding on while I'm trying to do my makeup on you because I was scared. <laughs> Whatever. I called the place that we're at now. So but like, six. yeah, after calling, not even joking, 20 motels, this one was like, yeah, we have a one bedroom available. And it was a little above our budget, but like we genuinely had no choice. Yeah, we did not have a choice. We called and I was like, that's perfect. I'm 10 minutes away. <laughs> Traffic turned it into 30 minutes away. And I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, somebody's gonna get the room. We called so we can be like, hey, we're running a little behind, just letting you know we're still coming. So please don't give this room. And Sydney called and the person at the front desk was like, the other person took your call and they are actually assisting people right now. So let me make sure the room's still available. The fucking angels that these people at the front desk God, are. I wish I could tip them. Yeah, I mean, we probably can. They are angels and I feel like they can kind of sense our like panic and like need for this place. So they were like, okay, we're gonna put your name down. We'll see you in 10 minutes. And now we're here. Also, this is not a motel. It's, it's a is, hotel. This is a hotel that was just turned into a Motel 6. It's really nice. Yeah. And the view is really good. And like, if you kind of angle yourself, you can see downtown Austin. If you kind of angle yourself. I'm serious Always though. Always sees parking lots and other hotels. Okay, but if you look this way. <laughs> Oh my god, Sydney, I forgot about this part. By the time we got in the room, we had 20 minutes until we had to leave for the concert. The concert venue was 15 minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> but it all worked out in the end, and we got to the concert on time, and we managed to get like in the third row, and it was a really good concert. That brings us to right now, this very moment. How do you feel in this very moment? Um, I feel like... We have less than 30 minutes to get out of this hotel room. I guess we'll see you at the coffee shop because that's our next destination, I believe. I don't know if you're asking me for approval. I'm I was. I don't care. I was. Okay. <laughs> Drink the cyanide up, dope as fuck, so I would really shoot a group of guys up. Deep thought, I'm often lost in. Fuck it. Put me next to awesome. Life's a bitch. Fuck college, mommy. I am ditching class. I'd rather be happy than fucking 40. So fuck that teacher's lecture. I'm having Sydney record me for the two dope. They didn't like it. Oh well, let's get double XL to write us a fucking story. It's sitting right in my lap. I see it. Scribbled across the lines. I read it. I'm the fucking poet who knows it. You know it. You both is comprehend the language. You scared of what? I'm more anxious. We got the angles if you won't be. Howdy, besties. It's actually like two and a half weeks later. We are more so just like enjoying ourselves, not worrying about vlogging per se, which is ironic because 
I made this video. I just wanted to kind of give like more context to what was going on, have this be more balanced between montage and talking. So here I am in my room. We made it back safely, um, surprisingly. Considering how the trip was going, it's kind of surprising that I'm alive. <laughs> half joking, half not. So basically, as you saw, like we went to the concert, it was super fun. Um, I did explain like everything that happened beforehand, which was wild. Uh, what? As you saw, my last day in Denton, nope, I'm in Denton right now. My last day in Austin was like kind of chill. We just went thrifting and like explored a little bit. After that, we ate poke. We were very tired afterwards and we decided like, there's really not much for us to do. Like we don't have a hotel that we can chill at while we like regroup. And we kind of did everything we wanted to do, you know? So it was a very short trip. We ended up going home like right after we ate lunch, which is chill. Like I'm actually glad we got home sooner rather than later because I was just so exhausted. We were only in Austin for like 30 hours, which is insane. Um, it was so fun though, like I can't wait to go back again, especially whenever it's colder outside so I can be outside for longer than two minutes. I look kind of insane, but like kind of in a cool way. I look crazy! I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was very fun. I hope like I captured the ambiance of Austin. Ouchie. Um, it smelled like a giant falafel. And I think that's the best way to describe that beautiful city. Hope you all enjoyed. How many times am I going to say that before I end the video? Um, I'm going to say it one more time. I hope you all enjoyed. It was super fun to make. And I love the way I edited it. Like, I love the music choices. Not to toot my own horn on my music taste, but I do. I just, I really like this video. And I'll see you on the next one, which will be soon because I'm like back on my grind. And I love y'all so much. Zoom into me because I don't feel like coming to y'all. So sorry. Bye. Okay. <laughs> what? Why am I so bad at ending videos? <laughs> Bye.